Hey guys, Joy's of Sorrow here. Just wanted to show you guys the brand new Pelican Covert 120 kayak that I picked up at the Tractor Supply Company store in Palmdale. So I drove about an hour, hour and 20 minutes. Uh, a little bit more because there was some uh, construction on one side of the freeway. Uh, long story short though, I got my longer kayak. It also has a bigger weight capacity. You guys remember the old kayak here? This is the Lifetime Tamarack 100, uh, 10 foot kayak. Uh, I've done some modifications to it. This is just a extra bench seat. That one's actually too wide for that one. So I originally bought it for this one. I added the, the rod holder that's over there, added the chair and the eyelets that pretty much hold it together with the zip ties. Added this crate here with the DIY rod holders, and I added the uh, paddle, extra paddle holder right there. I also did a DIY keel guard with um, Gorilla Tape. Uh, it's seen better days, obviously, but it served its purpose for you know what little I paid for it. So, and it's been a great kayak. Don't get me wrong; it is a pretty good fishing machine. However, because I'm doing more fishing in the ocean now, I need something that's longer that'll help cut through the waves a lot more easier. It's a little slimmer, too. Uh, even though I'm not a slim person, it just helps to have a slimmer kayak, again, for cutting through those waves and you know trying to track forward easier. Uh, and better weight capacity, because the weight capacity on the Tamarack is 275 pounds. Weight capacity on the Covert 120 is... 350 pounds so I have still about 90 pounds to play with I'm about 261 right now so again got just a little under 90 pounds to you know play with in regards to gear and stuff and I already sat inside it it's stable enough for me um, it's a little bit getting used to though let me go ahead and show go through the features on this ki kayak it's got grab handles front back and the sides so four it comes with this really nice big uh compartment door to get inside the kayak it's the only one on the kayak uh pretty big it is not waterproof there's a sign right there that warns you about that uh that's just some shavings plastic shavings in there from you know some of the hardware they were installing but no actual water in it it's been sitting out here for hours too these are the footrests. I'm not a big fan of these footrests. Uh, they work well. They work pretty well. It's just that my leg just ends up hooking in an uncomfortable way, you know, on the other one because I tend to use this one right here or, you know. So uh, going to replace those. I found that Pelican actually has uh, ones that are, you know, on a little bit of a rail track and it has a, a bit of a trigger system so you can actually set where you want your foot pedal. So I'll only have one foot pedal on each side instead of, uh, you know, four. And that'll make some space in the yak. There is a center rod holder on this one. Came pre-installed. Have not tested it yet. I do like the idea a lot better than having rod holders on the side, I will admit. Uh, because when I do fish, I only really concentrate on having one rod out. And my other rods are in the back. Um, the seat not my favorite feature this one uh it's obviously been folded down for quite a while so it's taken some shape either way this is all getting replaced there's scupper scupper holes at the bottom uh, these are just uh fishing rod uh cable ties so i'm gonna i need to actually put an eyelet there and an eyelet there to uh or maybe just a center eyelet there so that i can uh have somewhere that I can put those on so I have my rod secure. Ever since I've flipped a few times, I've, uh, you know, realized the importance of, you know, securing your gear. All right. Next thing, too, is paddle uh, holders because there are none in this kayak. I am going to install some. I think I'm going to just install the same ones that's uh, on there, the clip. Um, the other thing I'm also considering is tracks, uh, it's either Scotty or Yak Attack tracks. 
these parts right here are a bit rounded so I do want to see if maybe I'll probably end up putting the track somewhere you know like right here I could put a track here I could put a track there um, this area back here is flat tracks can go back here uh, for you know both two different options maybe what if I want an anchor system here if I want a you know transducer mount or something like that there now the back area there are two scupper holes in there clip on mesh supports uh, tight or bolt you know screwed on to the back both areas here there is a hole here that's plugged up and I'm not exactly sure what it's for but I do have a suspicion flat area here in the back too for you know if you need to mount uh, again uh, GoPro stuff or rails or stuff like that grab handle um, come on this is the uh, uh, kayak plug basically so you can drain the water out of it in case any water does get on the inside but what I want to show you guys is this you see those pre dimpled uh, areas there I think what that's for is a rudder system and maybe the lines come through here and then you have to come up with a rigging uh, you know to put them through I'm not 100% sure. It's just my thoughts. So, anyways, just wanted to go ahead and show you guys the new kayak. I'm excited about it. Uh, I will take it out for a test drive. or Yeah, test drive, technically. Uh, before I actually do any type of work on it. That way I can get a better idea of what I really want. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching.